going to be taking this partition wall out between the kitchen and the living room. Uh, but first, you got to make sure that it's not weight bearing or load bearing. Um, typically, in a house like this, the uh, center wall is usually uh, carrying all the load. Um, down in the basement, this mirrors uh, the uh, steel steel beam and the floor joists are running front to back on the house. Uh, so yeah, this center wall should be uh, the load bearing wall, um, but you still got to poke around, make sure you never know. Um, but I'm pretty confident that this is just a partition wall. Uh, you tap on it. Uh, it sounds hollow all the way through here. Um, typically if there's a load, there should be a header here. Not always uh, do people do what they're supposed to. So, um, you know, there's a chance there could be a load and it just be framed uh, regular. But this whole thing's hollow. There's nothing really upstairs um, that would make me think that it was framed weird. So, um, yeah, you can tell on this load-bearing wall, just tapping on it lightly, that it's it sounds really hard. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty confident that that, that's the load bearing wall and they did put headers in um, you can tell when you tap on it um, it just sounds you know hard so uh, like I said you can use uh, and there it's hollow and there it's hard uh, you can use stud finders and all that stuff but I like to poke around before I start ripping and tearing um, I like to cut the uh, corners with a razor knife cut the tape so you don't damage the walls when you pull all this stuff out uh, after the drywall, I got these wires. I got the power shut off, and um, there's actually two circuits here. One goes to the living room, or comes from the living room, and one's coming from the kitchen. Uh, but I'm going to reuse these wires. I'm putting a switch in an outlet uh, right here because there's going to be some, eventually there's going to be some cabinets when we get around to doing the kitchen. Um, but yeah, you can see, just kind of be gentle with it. You don't have to be in a huge hurry to hack everything out at once. Um, and then we'll get the boxes off. I just stick a pry bar behind them boxes. And uh, you can see there are usually two nails in the back of those uh, uh, boxes. And I just pry them off nice and easy. And we'll just leave them hang for now because, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up you know, cutting them back and reusing them wires. But... For now, we'll just leave it hang till we get all this framing out of the way, and then um, uh, get the top plate off. And basically, what I do is I just use my hammer, typically, to split split these uh, little studs, uh, kind of like firewood. Just kind of aim for the wire there, where they drilled through the stud, and uh, being along the grain there, they usually split split pretty easy. Um, unless you run into a knot or something, sometimes you got to wrestle with them, but most of the time you can just whack at it a couple times and, and, uh, they pop right off like that. So I get all this nasty framing out of the way and keep, uh, you know, chipping at it till we get these, uh, wires loose. Uh, I'll need two hands to pull that apart. I don't have two hands right now. So, uh, this post, um, the right side's already mudded and everything, uh, corner bead. I don't think I'm going to mess with that. I try not to do any more damage than I have to, so I'm going to cut it right there, and then I'm going to cut that top plate um, across across that way, and then I'll pull that plate out. I'll pull it down uh, to get it out of there because I'm going to save that. I want to save that drywall because I don't want to have to patch to the ceiling and retexture the ceiling and all that. I got to take that wallpaper border off to mud, but uh, at least I don't have to do that, you know, where it meets the ceiling. So, still going to use this as a room divider. Um, but you can see, yeah, it's it's hollow. There's there's nothing sitting on this. Um, so I cut a little piece of that out and got it started with my hammer, and then I'll just pull that plate down. It does a little bit of damage to the drywall on the bottom, but um, no biggie. I can get my wires. I got two little spotlights going in there, so. Uh, I'm going to run my wires when I get this loose, and then um, we'll put it back together. Yeah, I'm just going to cut this right here. Cut this first one. I'm not going to try to cut through both of them because I'm not 100% sure which where these wires go. One goes right, one goes left, I'm pretty sure, but 
Um, yeah, to get that bottom plate out, we got to get these off. So uh, just one at a time. We'll do it like we did the other ones and get that one loose and then split it, get the wires off, uh, get the framing out, and then we'll work on the one behind it. Because, like I said, I don't want to damage those wires. I was going to keep this because this is going to act as a room divider still. Um, but with these wires and stuff, I'm going to have to, yeah, one does go that way and the other one does go that way. So uh, I'm just going to cut it the same. And uh, after I got that out, I had to uh, get my pry bar up in there and I'm just going to yank down on it and see if it'll come out. Uh, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't but um, yeah this house they weren't uh, they didn't go crazy with nails there was very few nails holding stuff together so that worked out in my favor uh, so yeah when I'm done messing around with these wires I'll, I'll uh, insulate and uh, put everything back together and then uh, mud it back and uh, yeah, there I got the lights in. I got my wires up in there. Tiny little LED, uh, three-inch uh, little spotlights. So there I got a switch and a dimmer and an outlet right there. Because like I said, we're we're putting cabinets here when we get around to doing the kitchen. So uh, there you go. Hope that helps.